How are you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is the kind of start of the studio vlogs. Well, it's definitely not because we are now in lockdown, uh, but I wanted to insert this little clip just to explain that obviously it's lockdown. I haven't been to the studio. I haven't been mingling with my dad. This was filmed before um, for following all the regulations that were out then. Um, so uh, yeah, just a little disclaimer alert. Let's crack on with the video. You know by now that the studio's finished. I've been in there, I've been super busy. The last video I put out, we built a sculpture, which was awesome, really, really liked it. And I'm glad to know that some of you guys really liked watching that process as well. I didn't really plan to do this today, but I ended up finishing loads of other work, so I have a kind of free day to do this. I've come to Wix, I'm gonna buy a little uh, chop saw, it's called canvases and painting e easels and stuff. It's so, not easels, that's the wrong word, canvases are so expensive to buy in the shops that I started to make them myself, but now I've got to a point where I need to buy this saw so I can make them properly and kind of like as professional as I was making them before when I was at uni. So yeah, kind of like little chatty video, super casual, just following me along on a studio day. Hopefully they have this uh, saw in stock. It was online, but it was quite a good good price for what it is and I've got a feeling they might be sold out. But anyway, let's go, stop chatting. Definitely need a trolley. Reach the power tool section. Here's all the drills and things. Desperately want one of those, but I'm not gonna get one today. It's a router. It would make cutting the spiders and stuff like that and sculptures out so much easier because you just like run it across the top of the wood rather than holding a jigsaw trying to do all that. Anyway, if you haven't watched that video, you don't know what I'm talking about. It was so fun building it. This is what I've come in here for. It is like a big old box. Oh my God, it's actually quite heavy. Happy that they've got this in stock. There's only one on the shelf. Let's go get some wood. Stocked, got everything I need. Let's go to the studio. Look at this toy. I know. See, look, I knew you'd be oh, happy about that. Um, that's like uh, chocolate. It's like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's like your chocolate, is it? I knew you'd be excited about that. Yeah. Anyway, so Dad's going to help me out. We can make a decent amount, I reckon, today once this is set up. Turn in the mouth. Turn them on. Let's go, we've put it together. You, this excites you so much, doesn't it? I love <laughs> that it makes you happy like that. Right, let's turn them on. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. All these bits. Bang! Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's pretty loud in, the he in here, isn't it? Bloody hell! <laughs> we need to figure out what size canvas we're making first. I'm just looking at the paintings that I've already yeah, done. This small one's quite a good size. Yeah, maybe I'll make some smaller ones. Right. Yeah, because yeah, we could bosh out quite a few of those ones. Right. This is the painting I did the other day. That's quite a nice size. This is the whole point of the studio vlogs, is that I turn up, I don't know what I'm doing, but we make something cool. There's lots of mumbling and figuring stuff out, but uh, that's a lovely size. You want this size? And also this size behind me, this smaller one. That's, that's lovely as well. See, look, that's why you're art tech dad, because you have the tools just to hand. Right, so what size is this? 610. 610 by... 920. 920. Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, I just want to this see is exciting. how much. It's not yeah. a studio anymore, it's a bloody woodworking workshop. Yep. We're good, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We are good, aren't we? 
We've cut all the wood, all the frames are made up. We've made three of these. What I'm trying to, oh, and there's another one there. What I'm trying to communicate is what I should have done is stuck this bead on the huge lengths of wood first and then cut it. Uh huh. But we didn't do that, did we? No. We're taking our time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we've basically had to cut everything twice. Yeah. But we've got everything ready. Here's all the lengths for three of these canvases, yeah. and now we're going to pin them all together. It's just we would have saved ourselves a lot of yes, time. Yes, we would have saved time <laughs> by, by actually doing it in one hit. But we know for next time. It's learning curve. It's that learning one doesn't curve. want to stay on the bench. Boom! That's what it's meant to look like. Bang, 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 bang. So the idea is that this raises the canvas once I stretch it away from the main frame so I don't touch it when I paint or draw on it. So that's the reasoning behind this extra little lip. But look at that, oh, profession, ow, hey. Ooh. Hours and hours later. Hours and hours? Hours and hours. Hours, absolute hours and hours. <laughs> um, I have to go, but I need to give you a quick update. I'm gonna finish this video off another day because I need to rush, but we've smashed it. That's cool. I just right. love these kind of videos because he didn't know he was gonna be doing this today. No. <laughs> you kind of ropes me in. <laughs> yeah. But we've absolutely smashed it. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. eight. And I've still got some wood left over and check this out. There is barely any waste because we were clever about measuring. It's a good job. And as we did one to the next one, we obviously got better. So the quality is amazing. <laughs> Definitely meets the standard, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish the vlog off once I have everything stretched because I need to rush. So I'll see you in a sec. Uh, so it's been a couple of days. I don't know what the last thing I said was. Today I'm gonna stretch up a couple, see how we get on. But uh, yeah, I love that we're able to do stuff like this. It's so, so handy. I'm gonna cut enough material for three. If we got our measurements right, we definitely figured out a way how to best utilize this roll of canvas. You can hear that weird sound in the background, like a little like blowing sound. Turn on the heater, because it is chilly in here today. So tight. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little studio vlog. Just me in the studio, getting up to random stuff. That's the whole vibe of what I'm creating with these videos. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, make sure you check in for the next one. I'll leave the link to some of the items that I spoke about, i.e. the wood, the canvas, and where I get it from. Some of you artists or arty types might like to know where I get some of this stuff because I've done some research, I've found the cheapest places to get them from, so I'm more than happy to hit you up with some recommendations. Uh, so they'll be down below. I've got eight more, seven more, sorry, to stretch up. I'm gonna get busy, but I'll get busy off camera. Um, and yeah, I'll see you real soon in another video. Thanks for watching.